Now we come to the medial position of all sound. Medial position. Hmm? Medial. Yes. Come on. Turn. Turn. Good. Nice. Turn. Turn. Nice. How do you write turn? Turn you write it. Turn. Oh. Turn. No. Turn. Yes. Turn. Good. Yes. Burn. Burn. Good. So what are you doing here? What is happening here? R is coming, okay, in English letters, and you are prolonging the sound. Turn, burn, burn, okay. Learn, learn, good. Learn, learn. Learn, yes. Church. Church. Okay, church. This is a very common word, you know, which is often repeated in exam. Means they give you for transcription. It's very easy. Don't be baffled if you have this word there. Just see how it is transcribed. Church. First you write cha. Okay, this begins with cha and this ends with cha. Cha. And then you have cha here too. See it in the beginning, see it in the end, you are in the middle. Hmm? What is my riddle? Church. Church. Okay. Yeah, any other word? Like bird. This is also a very common word. They give an exam. Bird. So, bird, oh, oh, bird, and dove. Bird. And another word which, which they give is, you know, I'm giving you the most common words which are usually asked in exams. Girl. Hmm? How do you write girl? Girl. Oh. And love. Girl. Girl. There's no uh, ra here, remember. There's no ra here. Girl. Church. Burn. 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 Bird. Since you know your ears are accustomed to listening to ra sound, even if you know I'm not pronouncing ra, but you would hear that I'm saying ra. Burn. I'm not saying ra. Learn. I'm not saying ra again. But you know, Indian ears are accustomed to listening to ra sound. That's why you know, if somebody says bird, then also they listen as though the word is pronounced as bird. It's not bird. It's not turn. It's not burn. It's burn. Learn. Bird. 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 There's a difference. And when you say bird, this is their pretty said, bird. Hmm? How do you write bird? Bird. You write like this. There's a difference. Here, you do not pull on the sound. Here, you pull on the sound. This is bird. This is bird. Bird. This is okay? Yes, sir. I think enough of words here. Yes. We can move on to the final position now. Final position, okay? O sound. Final. Yes. Do you have a verse with this? Hmm? Four. Four. Okay. Hmm? Although you have ah, this is right here, but this is not pronounced. So how do you write four? Four. Okay. And, and you know, uh, yes, uh, Shylock uh, uh, was addressed as uh, Kerr there in Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice by Antonio, that's what he said in the court, Duke's court. Kerr, hmm? Kerr, what does it mean? Dog. Kerr, okay. Hmm? Yeah? Stir. Stir. Okay. Okay. Good. This is good. Stir. Stir. How will you write? You write the stir line. Stir. Stir. Hmm. Good. Stir. Hmm? Yes? Can any other word you can think of? Spur. Spur. Good. 
Very nice. Very nice. I thought we wouldn't have words. But that's good that you are supplying nice words. Spore. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Working. Okay. Nice. Very good. So we, we have discussed hmm, O and O. Now we are left with the last uh, last central vowel sound, which is O sound, the shortest sound. Very short O sound. And I told you earlier when we started uh, this vowel discussion on vowel sound, what is it called? Shua. Shua. Very good. Very nice. That's that's very good. You remember. Sure. Okay. And how do you write sure? This is inverted E. Okay, inverted E. And how do you spell sure? You spell sure like this. Okay, sure. Sure. So usually you, know, you find sure in uh, unaccented levels. Okay, unaccented levels. For example, you know, I am telling you what is unaccented here. You order, you know, and you like, uh, you know, put stress marks according to syllables only. Like, yeah, I have written the word directly. I should write the English word here first. This is above, above, okay, what is it? Above. So this is oh this is sure sound this which is coming in the beginning. Now this 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 you know this level here you have two syllables it's a disyllabic word. So this this level is accented means you pronounce it with a stress with an accent bow bow bout for example bout. And this is this is unstress. So usually you will find this is one syllable. Although there is only one letter, but it's one syllable. Okay, one syllable. Oh, bow. Oh, bow. Oh, bow. Hmm? So where do you have? You have this mostly. Mostly, I would say almost in every case you will find sure occurring in the unstress syllable. Okay, unstress, unaccented syllable. That's okay. Yes. Now we will discuss. Now first you tell me the three term description. You know, this occurs initially as well as finally too. Yes. And immediately, of course, it does occur here. So we are talking about the initial position. But before I discuss the initial, I would like you to tell me the position of this. This is a center unrounded unrounded because you don't round your lips center unrounded vowel occurring between half close and half open position okay half close and half open position where when initial and medial no no not initial and medial half close this is half close and this is half open I, I say that this is a central vowel, unrounded vowel, occurring between half close and half position in non-final. Non-final means when it occurs initially or medially. But when it when but when it occurs in the final position, like in words like father, sister, the you know the, the position changes. The position changes. This comes somewhere here. Just below half open position. Okay, it, it is now here in between half close and half open, but in the final position, it reaches here this position. Just below half open. Just below half open. Okay. Now let's discuss initial. Yeah. Although I had a word, I had a few words here. Yes, can you tell me? Upon. Upon. Good. Very nice. So now you can remember, you know, suppose if you are asked to mark stress, then how will you mark? You write O first and then pawn. Pawn. 
This is how. So the stress would come on the second syllable. Hmm. Upon, yes. And about. About, okay. Again, the stress will come on the second syllable. About. Yes, yes, yes. And ago, for example. Hmm? Ago. This is how you would write a. Hmm? And then G. Then this diphthong will come. Ago. Ago. Okay? Ago. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Upon, about, yes. Tell me. Sir, O will come instead of in, in about. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't get here. Yes. This is O only? In the transcription. No, this is fine. This is O. This is this is O. This no O will not come here. This is about. This is fine. This is O. This is a diphthong. You know, I don't discuss diphthongs, so that's why you don't know. This is O. Like you have this in words like house. House. Okay, or mouse, owl, this is owl, this is fine, this is AU. AU, you know, it, um, together it gives you a diphthong, and this is owl sound, owl sound, about, hmm? about. Maybe you know, you must have seen American transcription in books and all. Americans, they, 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 they you know, they might write OU, but this is, in the, we, we are following British, uh, RP. Hmm? So we write this is a we write the way this is written. Oh, okay. Yes? Account. Account. Good. This is how we write account. So uh, uh, again, you know, see notice this. I'm repeating this diphthong. Account. 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 There, there are two syllables. The second syllable is a stress. Account. You, you, you know, you, you can even pronounce the word yourself. Now, this is monosyllabic. House is monosyllabic. So, in monosyllabic, you do not have a stress. Hmm? You have a stress only in disyllabic, trisyllabic. I mean, words uh, where you have more than one syllable. So, this is disyllabic. How do you pronounce? You say account. You don't say account. You don't say like this. Hmm? You say account, you say upon, you say about, you say a girl. Hmm? So we are in fact giving the stress on the second syllable. So if you can pronounce the word, you can even put the stress right here. Hmm? Okay. So these were the initial sounds that we were talking about.